This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. From the Associated Press and KHOU.com, we win. Texas beats out Oklahoma for hottest June through August in the United States. Texas just finished the hottest June through August on record. Weather Service meteorologist Victor Murphy told the Associated Press that Texas' 86.8 average beat out Oklahoma's 85.2 degrees in 1934. That Dust Bowl year is now third on the list for the three-month span. Both Texas, Oklahoma, and others in the nation's southern tier have been in triple-digit heat this summer. Texas had its hottest June on record, the fifth warmest month overall, and July was the warmest month ever. Texas hasn't just been hot, it's in the midst of the worst drought since the 1950s and enduring it its driest single year going back to 1895. The heat and lack of rainfall have clobbered agriculture. An early estimate shows crop and livestock losses at $5.2 billion. That figure was expected to rise. Grasses, vegetation, and trees around the state have remained tinderbucks dry, and wildfires have destroyed more than 3.5 million acres since last November, about when the drought started. Just this week, hundreds of homes were destroyed when wildfires raged through southeast of Austin. The U.S. Drought Monitor map released Thursday shows that not a speck of Texas is out of the drought, and more than 81% of it is in the worst category. Texas fire agencies are biting red ink from state budget cuts. Texas volunteer firefighters are scrambling to pay their bills as they battle raging blazes after deep state cuts that took effect last week. The huge cuts added new pressure to budgets already strained by a prolonged fire season. Dallas police have arrested a mother in what they are calling an extreme case of child abuse. Elizabeth Escalona was arrested for injury to a child in Houston. Sources told KHOU.com that Escalona allegedly beat and tortured her two-year-old daughter. The girl's grandmother took her to the Children's Medical Center in Dallas Wednesday morning. The child is clinging to life and may not survive. The little town of Booker, Texas, has found itself the subject of an international news story. Booker High School had an unusual visitor last Friday night at its football game. It was Gabriel Elizondo. Mr. Elizondo is a Brazil-based correspondent with Al Jazeera, the Middle East news agency. Elizondo was on a road trip across the U.S. talking to people about the effects of 9-11 on their lives. He got to Booker in time for the football game and wanted to take in the game, talk to some parents and maybe a player or two. In explaining his reasons for being there to the Booker High School superintendent, Elizondo found an angry superintendent saying he could not interview anyone. Elizondo said he soon left. Superintendent Mike Lee, according to Elizondo's story on Al Jazeera, apologized to Elizondo on the school's website for any abrupt behavior, but he explained that he still would not have allowed him any interviews on school property. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.